Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Seneca Scout. My name is Jake Manson. And I'm Evie Vogel. As always, we aim to bring local, national, and international news from our studio right to your TVs and screens at home. For this week, we plan to do something different, though. That's right. Since next week is the class of 2022's last week of high school, we prepared a show based solely around seniors and local news within the walls of Seneca Valley. And on top of that, for the first time this year, we have several live guests joining us tonight to weigh in their opinions and stories. With all of that being said, we begin our show with a discussion about senior projects. Every year, the senior classes are to complete a project in order to graduate for their high schools. For Seneca Valley students, a presentation grade must also be obtained for them to receive their diploma, as it helps adapt their communication skills. SV seniors can breathe a sigh of relief as their senior board presentations took place earlier today. This was a day where students could share all their hard work and accomplishments with a panel of ju adult judges. Let's check in with Cadence to see what some of our seniors completed this year. Hello, I'm Cadence Kilhoff and I'm with the Seneca Scout. And today we're here with Juliana Brock and she's gonna tell us about our senior project. So for my senior project, I job shadowed Selena Pompiani from KDKA and it was really awesome. She has a lot of positions in the communication field so it was cool to see everything she does. And since the senior project took the entire year to complete, what were some of the challenges that you faced? Definitely working around schedules, working around COVID still, because there were restrictions with KDKA. I couldn't go directly into the studio, but we managed to make it work. I got to see her on live shots and public settings. It was hard to plan around, but we, make it, we made it work. How often did you go see her? I saw her, we didn't have like once a week or anything like that, but we just planned as much as we could. We did quite a lot of shadows. Well, that's awesome. Do you plan to pursue a career with broadcasting in the future? I do. I'm going to go to Point Park University and major in broadcast reporting, hoping to get a position in that kind of field. And is that what you're going to do right after graduating? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you for being here with us today. Thank and you. back to you guys. For an event that makes memories for many seniors, it's finally here, Prom Weekend. Prom will be located at Stage AE in Pittsburgh. For months, Seneca psychology teacher Miss Christ Ms. Christ and countless other students have been planning this first indoor prom in three years. Let's talk to Ms. Christ and two students who will be attending. I decided to plan prom because uh, my principal asked me to plan prom, so I agreed to it. I'm looking forward the most at prom is to dance and I'll dance some of my best friends. The fact that it's at Stage AE is pretty cool. Also looking forward to food, the last dance or whatever of the high school year, so it'll be fun. And honestly, I was kind of like grandfathered into Stage AE. They, Seneca's been having prom at Stage AE for I think like five or six, maybe more years, and they're really easy to work with. It's a fun venue, it's right downtown. And so it's kind of just the easiest thing to do every year. So in the morning, I'm gonna get the corsage for my date. Then we're gonna meet up at a friend's house for some pictures. Go to Ichiban, get food. Go to the school and get ready for the dance. Go to the dance. And then after party, somebody's house. The senior class officers have full reign of what we do. I think they use they kind of take into account what's been done in the years past. We also take stock of the decorations we already have and how we can use those into the current theme that they choose. Because you know the dances are fun and it's the last one. Thanks for more prom insight, Aiden. And staying on, top, uh, on the topic of prom, last Friday, the seniors of Seneca Valley voted for 10 guys and 10 girls to be a part of the 2022 prom court this year. Let's see what the court thinks about their nominations. So, tell me your name. My name is Peyton Alloy. Jack Beauregard. Brady Beauregard. Aiden Drake. And Ryan Brieger. I'm Jojo Bauer. Elena Ekstam. I'm Owen Tecklenburg. I'm Brooke Eckenrode. Juliana Brock. Abby O'Shea. Brianna Beers. <laughs> My name's Emily. <laughs> My name's Max. I'm Alex Mortier. I'm Emma Davis. I'm Rachel Summers. Trey Hickson. My name's Dawson. I'm Tanoosh. What are you most excited for to see with prom? Um, I'm most excited to get dressed up, dance with my friends, and take pictures. Uh, probably the dance. Uh, hang out with my friends, uh, have a good time. Uh, just having a good time with everyone. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for having a good time and riding the bus to stage AE. Um, I'm most excited to just be with all my friends and just dancing and having a good time with everyone. Yeah. Same. I'm really excited to dance at prom with all my friends and seeing everyone dressed up. Get those dance moves out there. <laughs> Why are we still in an accent? Dinner. 
Um, I'm excited to see everyone's dresses and everybody all together at Stage AE. It'll be really fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to get dressed up, see all my friends dressed up, and then just dance at the dance. <laughs> I've never been to Stage AE, so I kind of just want to see it, that's all. Yeah. Um, I'm as excited to dance. Yeah. She's probably going to end up on my shoulders by the end of the night. There's a, there's a high chance. Uh, I'm excited to land. I like bust it down at stage A. You know, I, I haven't busted it down since the eighth grade picnic, so it'll, it'll be exciting. That's you know? rad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, um, I think getting dressed up, seeing everyone else dressed up. Um, definitely either the food or definitely whipping whipping out the coffee grinder on stage. I've got some pretty sweet dance moves, so I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm really excited for the atmosphere at stage A. E. Uh, I think it's going to be truly electric. Yeah. Um, JJ is going to be pretty cool. I'm just excited for that. Yeah. yeah. And what are your plans for next year? Um, I plan to attend the University of Tennessee, majoring in business analytics. Forensics and psychology at WVU. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to Penn State Beaver, taking cybersecurity. Uh, I'm going to WVU for marketing. <laughs> and I'm going to Penn State, Maine, for data science. I'm going to Duquesne for business. Awesome. And I'm going to WVU, but I'm undecided. I'll be going to Denison University, and I'll be majoring in biology on the pre-med track. I'll be going to Kent State to major in business and minor in psychology. I'm going to attend Point Park University and major in broadcast reporting. I'm attending Penn State University and dancing on their dance team and majoring in something business related. Not sure what yet though. I'm also going to Penn State majoring in sociology BA. Um, I'm going to Ohio State and I'm studying psychology. Awesome. And I'm going to Slippery Rock for business. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to Florida State to uh, major in vocal performance. Wow. 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 I'm going to Colby College and I'm pre-law. Awesome. I'm going to Westminster College and I'm going to play volleyball and major in environmental science. And I'm going to Slippery Rock and I'm going to major in music education. Uh, I'm going to into aerospace engineering at Purdue. Awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to psychology at Pitt. Congratulations to all members on the court this year. King and Queen will be announced tomorrow night during the senior prom. As we come close to the end of the school year and look forward to the class of 2022's graduation, we reflect on the incredible year it was for Seneca Valley sports and athletes. We caught up with senior student athletes to see their plans to continue the sports they love at a coll collegiate level. Abby O'Shea and I'm going to Penn State University to be on the dance team. Brandon Ross, Notre Dame College, football. Nolan Dorak, Cal U, and football. Hi, I'm Alexa Lombardo and I'm going to Penn State University to be a Lionette on the dance team. My name is Ben Carell and I will be attending Grove City College to be a member of the football team. Hi, my name is uh, Brady Page and I'm going to Westminster College to play lacrosse. My favorite memory from high school sports was when I was in a stunt on game day and Owen Moran was running through the banner with the flag and I fell to the ground. Uh, probably being Pine Richland. Beating Pine in NA this year. My favorite memory from high school sports is drumline on Friday nights. My favorite high school memory from football was beating North Allegheny to uh, get a first round bye. It was a big game. My favorite uh, high school sports memory, there's many of them, but the one that actually happened this season, it was recently, it was during a, a JV lacrosse game. RJ Torres, he's running down the field, he makes a good play, and he just hurdles somebody in the air. I, his feet are above his head. I have never seen something like this in my 12 years of playing lacrosse. We're all on the sideline. Me and my teammates, we are dying. Coaches are shooting grins. It is just the funniest thing in the entire world. I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. The advice I would give to future student athletes is to soak in every moment because it goes by very, very fast. Play with a lot of confidence. Show up every day. Um, put the work in because you never know you're gonna have to be the next man up and step up and hop in the game in a big moment. Um, probably just work um, as hard as you can in and out of the weight room, on the field, off the field, um, be a good uh, student athlete, um, be a good person in the community and uh, help others. My advice to upcoming student athletes is to not take anything for granted and to live in the moment. The advice I would give to future student athletes be work hard on the practice field, get in as much as you can, and it'll help a lot in your future. Uh, my biggest piece of advice to future student athletes is 
Uh, I would say like 80% of the game is mental. You know, physical, you can go out there, you can run, but if your head's not right, you ain't gonna perform right. You gotta dial in that head, dial in mentality, and then you go out there and perform with confidence and you ball out. Thank you so much to Abby, Brandon, Nolan, Alexa, Ben, and Brady for helping us out. Congratulations to them for all the hard work they have put in for their respective teams, and best of luck to them as they head for the collegiate stage. Thank you for the insight, Jake. And congratulations to all of our senior athletes, and good luck to them as they continue to play in the future. Several senior Seneca Valley musicians recently advanced to the Pennsylvania Music Educators Association, PMEA, all state festival and conferences. 16 Seneca Valley musicians from both choir and ensembles earned this prestigious honor and took part in a culminating statewide performance last month. The choir, the choir wide ensemble and concert band participants were conducted by nationally recognized professors and conductors after two days of rehearsal. Seniors Eli Peel and Trey Hickson were among the vocalists who were recognized on the state level. Let's see what they had to say about the event. It was crazy to be around like that many people that were that talented and devoted to choir. Um, not that we don't get that experience here at Seneca, but like it's like the best of the best in the state and it's the best and the best from every school in the state that have made it through what like four or five auditions at this point it was it was really awesome we got to go out to the Poconos and we got to spend time with a lot of other amazing musicians and it was just uh, I can't even compare it to anything it was just a very unique very fun experience at, like at the concert the first note and we echo through the space like that's just something that you don't get to experience often so it's like wow Additionally, both Trey and Eli will be continuing their music education at college next year. We asked them about their plans. So I plan to attend Slippery Rock University for music education. I'm going to Wright State University for a Bachelor of Fine Arts in acting with a musical theater concentration. Ideally, I'd like to be a um, band teacher on a secondary campus. I'm looking forward to how uh, concentrated of a group I'm going to be with. Every year, Wright State only accepts 14 um, BFA MT majors um, based on talent audi talent based auditions. So it's very like you spend four years really getting to know these people. Congratulations to Eli and Trey and all of the talented musicians who participated in PMEA and will be studying music in the future. Let's do our final check-in with Cadence and our last senior to hear more about their graduation project. I'm here with Kylan Duran tonight to discuss more about what it was like to compose a song and track about high school. Can you walk me through the process of how you did that? So for like the first few months, there was actually like, uh, what we had to do was basically get the meaning of the song behind the scenes. We had to write poems and stuff. It was very, very hard work to just try and like come up with something to give positive feedback on our school because I love this school. It's been a fun time being here. I'm not originally from here. Moving from Dubois, Pennsylvania, moving here and being here for three years, it's just been really awesome. So I just want to show my love and feedback to the school. Wow, that's awesome. And because there were so many other senior projects to do, why did you choose to write about it? So. It all started off like when I was very young. I mean, I started off being a musician when I was like three years old. So starting from playing the drums, playing the piano, and then playing the guitar, and also being backup vocals for my mom's country band, it's been something that's been a part of my life, and it's something that I kind of want to do after school in the future. Wow. So is that what you definitely want to do in the future? Yes. Yeah, what I'm going to probably do professionally, um, it's something I'm going to look forward to in the future for sure. That's awesome. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Anytime. And back to you guys. Thank you, Cadence, as well as Juliana and Kylan for speaking with us tonight. With this, we leave you for our final story of the night. Four seniors took an economics class that inspired them to embrace their entrepreneurship skills and led them to an evolving business venture. Declan Sayanarowitz, Aiden Drake, Ty Nuan, and Jewel Beringer took second place in the Westminster Co College Entrepreneurial Center Scholastic Contest. They won grants to Westminster College if they choose to attend, as well as a plaque. 
These students were the first semester Shark Tank winners from Mrs. Grinnan's economics class as they completed against, competed against several other school districts. These students were the first semester Shark Tank winners from Mrs. Grinnan's economic class, which helps them aim young entrepreneurships, make their big ideas into reality. Their company, Little Twist, started selling out by started out by selling specialty dips for pretzels then evolved into a bigger brand than they expected the students decided to change their business model into clothing options and try their hand in e-commerce their goal is to make clothing for people to wear to express themselves they make creative designs that are fun and different it, a different way to wear day to day and on and on the golf course Today, Little Twist has a combined gross in income of over $1,000 and their profits are currently going towards branding and growing their businesses. They all felt it was a positive experience saying, quote, we feel it was, it taught us a lot about e commerce and selling products. It has also helped us grow as individuals, talking to manufacturers and influencer, influencers to grow our brand. This has also given us something we are able to work for, to work on after graduating while keeping connected to Little Twist continues. Well, that's all we have for you tonight here at The Scout. Be sure to check back in next week to get your weekly dose of local, national, and international news from us. Congratulations to every senior this year, and we hope that you all achieve great things in your future, whether you're in college, working, or taking a gap year. And good luck to each and every one of you from us at The Seneca Scout. Have a great night. Valley, I question what comes after. It never really matter where we're from, now we're together.